First and foremost, can I just check in with you and ask how you're how you're holding up? Um, there's been progress, and that always helps. Uh, I feel like we have a mission, we have a job to do, we have things that have to happen, and uh, when I see those things happening, that helps me understand that uh, we're going in the right direction, and um, that's that's always better than just sitting and waiting for who knows what's going to happen. So when the official news dropped that uh, the grand jury had convened, the process had you know, completed, the indictment was coming down, uh, what was your reaction? Um, we, they had let us know in, in, beforehand that, that, that this process was in action and it was going to possibly happen. They kind of put it in a, a, a vague circumstance saying it could be this case, but we knew I have a legal counsel. I talked to my legal counsel. He said, yes, it's definitely this case. So we knew that this was, this is a possibility. So we just sat back, hoped that um, everybody was going to remain um, quiet and it wouldn't leak because the last thing we wanted was uh, any of the families to be accused of that. So then we um, kept our mouth shut and we just waited for it to happen. And then they told us, yeah, it's over, it's done. Well, we had been making big plans, um, you know, as a network, uh, decamping to Idaho for the June 26th hearing. It was my understanding there was going to be a solid three to five days, like a mini trial, and we would have learned a lot of information. I wanted to get your take, however, on the fact that we will not get that opportunity to learn some of these mysterious holes in this case. Is it troublesome to you? Is it bothersome to you? Or are you just happy that the process is continuing regardless of what kind of uh, indictment we got? No, well, I'm just like everyone else. I wanna know exactly what's going on. I wanna see all the evidence. I don't like the secret secretive, like the hiding of it, but I understand why they did it. Um, there's people who are witnesses and they need to be protected and they don't need to be dragged through every obstacle that this process goes through. And it was a wise decision to um, you know, go this path. So um, all the information will come out, but it doesn't have to come out in multiple times and multiple ways. And we, you know, we don't have to make them go through this exercise more than, than needed. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.